Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my second project pan update with you guys, which is my makeup project pan, which I feel like for some people might be my most exciting project pan, and I have actually made some progress here. So I do have an exciting update to share with you, which is good because I wasn't sure if it was going to be exciting or not. I have used up one item. So I will be rolling in a new item and I have of course made progress with some of the other items as well. So let's jump into this and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And our first product we are going to be talking about is the concealer from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've been working on this for a very, very long time. It was in this project since the beginning. I used it 26 times this past month, which I think is really pretty good because the only time I used it more than that was in January, which was 31 times. So pretty good usage, I feel like, for this. I've beat out all the other months that I have used this so far other than the January month. So that is good. I am happy. And I also weighed this. I can't see through it. So I did weigh it and our weight has changed as well. Um, our weight this month is 7.94 grams which means that we used, what did we do? I'm gonna try and do quick math, but it may be a little off, so I'll be sure to put the exact grams that I used down here at the bottom for you. But I think that's about maybe a little more than 0.10 grams that I used of this product. The next one is also by It Cosmetics, and it is their setting spray. This is the Your Skin But Better Setting Spray Plus Plus. This is actually the empty of the month. There is nothing left in here and I'm really excited. I think I used it a little bit heavier each time I used it just because I wanted to finish it up this month. So I may have used a little more product per use than normal, um, but I did get to use it nine times this past month and I actually used this for the last time today so I may have went just a tiny bit heavy-handed but there it was like kind of spraying in um splotches today when I used it so I just had to call it done it just wasn't spraying as nicely it wasn't spraying evenly anymore so that's how I decided that it was my stopping point for this which actually ended up being good because it was today the day that I'm filming this so somehow that worked out. Now I did weigh this empty because I did want to still share the weight progress as well as just what this empty container weighs in case anybody is curious. I don't know, I find it interesting. This empty weighs 30.79 grams, which means that I used 11-ish grams, maybe 10, 10 point something grams, um, which is pretty steady with what my usage was throughout the months. Um, but like I said, I do think I did use it a little bit more each time that I used it this past month. But I am happy to be done with this. So we finally have an empty in my makeup project pan. So I am excited about that. And I will be rolling in a new item. So let me just go ahead and show you what the new item is going to be. So the item that I'm going to be rolling in in its place is another face product. But this is actually a setting powder. And this is by Dermablend. And this is a product that I really, really love. And I have already been working on so I rolled this in kind of as something that I'm hoping to finish sooner rather than later um, I was gonna roll in another product that was barely used but I don't even know if it would be possible to finish that by the end of the year so I thought this would be a better roll-in option I did mark this and I will show you an up close of how I marked it and how I'm going to be tracking it I did do a starting weight for this so the starting weight is going to be 67.63 grams and then that is what we're going to use to compare it to in the months going forward so new product that's exciting i know i've already mentioned this in other videos but just a really really quick disclaimer um i am hearing some mowing noise outside so please ignore that i am going to continue and move forward with filming this video the next product is from revlon and it is the vintage lace eyeshadow now i did take a close-up of this to kind of show hopefully a difference from 
last update and then what it looks like this update. I'm not really sure if there's going to be much of a difference. I feel like there might be a slight difference, but maybe not drastic. So you'll see it because I'm going to be putting it on the screen for you. But I just thought that I would share the visual progress with you on this one. Um, and I did end up using this nine times this past month, which is actually the least amount of times that I've used it any of the months since having this in the project. And I did have this in the project yeah, at the beginning when I first introduced everything in January. Now, the reason why this one wasn't used as much this past month was because I may have mentioned this in another video, but I had a sty in one of my eyes this month and I didn't want to put on any eye makeup at all while that was going on. So that's why my eye product usage was quite a bit lower than it normally is or should have been. So nine times, which means that my weight difference is probably going to be less as well. So let's look at that. Currently this weighs 18.61 grams, which means that I only used 0.10 grams of this product, um, which is less, I feel like, than the progress of previous months. So kind of a bummer there, but I am working my way through this. I, I do see a substantial amount of pan compared to how much is left. There's a lot less left than there is pan. So that's, you know, motivating and hopefully I can just continue to work on this. I do enjoy the product, so I'm not trying to go through it too quickly. I do want to use it and enjoy applying it. Next is my KKW Beauty Lip Liner in nude and uh, this is 0.5 is the number to the shade and I did visual progress on this as well. I'll insert the picture or a couple pictures of how this compares to previous months. There's not a whole lot of progress. I feel like this is actually at the point where I can almost sharpen it again and I just didn't because I feel like I can get at least one more use out of it before doing that. If I would have sharpened it, I feel like there would have been more progress, but hopefully that means next month you'll see more progress um, on that whole visual markings sheet that I keep and that I track. I used this a total of 15 times this past month, which is kind of middle of the road. It's not too bad. It's less than what I used in January, but it is more than what I've used in previous months. So I feel like that's pretty decent. Um, I have been using it every time I wear a lip product. I do love using the nude liner under whatever I'm putting on my lips. I think it's a really nice, simple go-to and easy to use with anything. So I have been enjoying it. This month I weighed it and it weighs 5.95 grams, which is not the best compared to last time, I feel like that means I only used maybe 0.10 grams, if that, compared to last update. So there's that, not a whole lot of weight progress, but this is a smaller item that doesn't really change that much. For the Victoria's Secret lip gloss, I am actually pretty proud of myself this month because I feel like I used it a really good amount of times. I used it 10 times this past month, which is the most, actually last month I used it 10 times as well, but so last month and this month are the most amount of times I have used this since putting it into the project. So I feel like I'm really trying to work on it. I'm really focusing on it and trying to be conscious to use it more. My weight on this one is currently 12.76 grams, which means that it went down about, let's see, point, no, 1.3 grams? I don't know. Am I doing the math right there? You'll see it right here. But um, last month it was 13.06. So it, there is some progress and there is also surprisingly uh, some visual progress here too. So I'll give you kind of an up close and show you, but I was able to make a fourth marking on one of the sides on the left side. And then I was able to make a third marking on the right side. Um, it is 
almost evened out but not quite there's still a tiny bit of a slant here but I can definitely see progress and so that is motivating to help me you know use this product more as well now for the physicians formula eyeshadow quad the brown shade that I am currently working on um, I'll show you there I feel like is some visible progress here I've definitely expanded the pan the oval shape is a lot bigger and there's not a whole lot left on the one side of the pan I have been focusing there because I want to be able to see the progress so I have have been focusing my brush on that side when I am picking up product to apply um, but I feel like I can see it it's helping me be motivated again to continue to use it there's the visual progress for this one compared to the last time hopefully like I said you can see the difference I feel like there's a difference at least when I'm looking at it now I did use this nine times again not as many times as I've used it any of the previous months since rolling it in in February because again the eye issue I just didn't use eye products that much this month so that is why and then for the weight progress again this is eyeshadow so very minimal progress here but I still wanted to share it with you um, currently it is 38.95 grams and this is like so minuscule of a difference because last update it was 38.96 grams so we got what like a 0 0.01 gram difference that's like nothing so at least my visual progress is you know exciting but not the weight progress for this one last but not least is my blush my cream blush from Ulta and I actually don't know if there's much of a visual progress here. I will insert a clip or photo from last update and compare it to what it looks like now. I feel like because this is a cream product, it kind of moves around a bit. So I feel like it makes it a little bit hard to compare it from month to month visually. I used this 14 times, which is the exact same amount of times that I used it last month when I rolled it in. Um, so yeah, <laughs> maybe 14 is going to be the consistent number going forward. We will see. But right now it was the same amount of usage. So that's good. There's a teeny bit of weight difference. So currently it weighs 3.08 grams. And last month it weighed 3.21 grams. So that means I used what like point is it point 0.1 again? <laughs> I feel like point 0.1 grams usage is like quite often uh, the difference between some of these products this update. So I feel like that's kind of the, the magic number <laughs> of usage for the weight. I am still loving and enjoying using this. So I am very happy that I rolled into this project. So that is everything. Those are all of my makeup updates for this past month the empty the new one that i'm rolling in and just the usage that i've been doing and hopefully i can continue to keep up this momentum and maybe even pick up some of the usage in some of these products and do a little bit better <laughs> um, i'm not sure just looking at everything that there will be an empty next month but we will see i could be surprised you never know so stay tuned and continue to keep up with these if you enjoy project pan videos i really appreciate you guys watching if you are doing a project pan please let me know down below how are you doing on it and maybe what products are you using i'd love to hear from you well that's it for today and i will see you all next time i hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day take care everyone bye